I made that album so it could get synced for movies. You made it with that in mind? Yeah, every single one, and almost, I think like probably 80% of those songs got synced. So the reason I made it because <clears throat> we had got an offer. Call of Duty gave me to do one song that they didn't even use was more than my whole album budget. But you, do you get publishing off of that, or is this <clears throat> a buyout? No, you get publishing too. Oh, you get publishing too? So, okay. I got a okay. FIFA thing for Champions League. Uh, and that was crazy. So when, when Call of Duty didn't use it, the U.S. Army picked it up. I got paid for it again. They wow. didn't use it. Then after the Army didn't use it, Spider-Man movie used it. So wow. this is all the meantime I'm making this album. And I'm torn. I'm like, all right, so if I can get 10 songs, every one of these songs can get synced. Right. Then I don't need nothing else. You feel me? I love that video right there. That's pure strategy. I love how Vince Staples, uh, you know what I'm saying, like thinks about what, what he's doing and how he analyzed the whole situation uh, with his prior uh ability to get sing licensing on particular songs and look you know he found a niche uh in the market that allowed him to basically make a lot of money from songs that could if they're synced for the next 30 40 years he'd be making way more money than artists just trying to make big hits uh to make sure they get streamed on spotify you know apple music and things like that's another example of that if you understand the business and you're in the business, you're not just worried about being in the studio in the booth making the songs and then doing whatever the hell you think A-list artists are doing. But if you are strategic, make the relationships, put a little bit of thought process behind it, you understand the business, you understand the numbers, all that together create a great, healthy financial situation for any artist.